Hello, everyone. Let's welcome the next speaker, Giovanni Beckis, with the talk Fighting Spam for Fun and Profit. Hi, I'm Giovanni Beckis. Um, I'm Apache and OpenBSD developer. And today I'll talk about uh, what happens in the past four years in spam assessing community and what will maybe uh, be the future of the of this software. Uh, first, um, uh, just to note that uh, spam assassin is mostly seen as a plug and play software by several users that just uh, uh, install it, update rules and uh, I forgot completely. It's, it should be uh, seen as um, something different, so it should be seen as a, as a framework to develop something uh, on top of it. So to get out the most, you have to uh, write your own your rules for, our, for your own kind of spam you're seeing, because uh, spam is, is different from everybody, so it's different basic, uh, basically of um, um, the language you speak, uh, uh, the interests, and a lot of, of other things. And uh, participate to mass check. That's a uh, um, client software mechanism. I will talk more later about it. And it's a general purpose framework. It's not just an anti spam software, because it's used uh, uh, to protect uh, some web forms. And uh, it's, um, I think in Holland there's a the not so famous CMS that's integrated uh, in spam assessing to check uh, web form uh, submission. Uh, so first, what's MassCheck? MassCheck is uh, a client server software that's integ integrated uh, in spam assessing. It's not uh, deployed um, with general distributions. It's, it's, uh, um, it sleeps on SVN, you have to check it out um, extra. Um, and it, it, can, it, it takes an input, uh, a spam folder and a helm folder. It, it downloads the latest version of spam assassin with the old rules. And uh, it checks uh, all your, your messages uh, uh, for spam and ham with new rules. Uh, rules are uh, committed in SVN re repo uh, in uh, each developer sandbox. So there are some rules that are uh, never pushed uh, to the public. Uh, once uh, the software has detected uh, how new rules are um, performed on your sport folder, uh, sent the results to the to an Apache server, and the Apache server uh, grab all the uh, the stuff and decides if uh, um, spam has changed in some way and decided uh, uh, so decides to push new rules. For example, where uh, where are some uh, new Bitcoin obfusc obfuscation technique. Uh, these new rules uh, get pushed to the public uh, and get uh, new default scores uh, that are uh, um, up lower or or not depends on how it goes and it's 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 a good way you can use it on your own or uh, as well so it's a good way to know if you, how your rules are are performed and now it's uh, your rules or in general the rules. Uh, the public rules are performing with your uh, um, mail flow, so you can uh, you can, for example, there's also a web interface. So you can uh, for every uh, on your mail flow, you can d detect the score assigned to messages, and uh, by which rule uh, if um, there are some rules that overlap. So, for example, if uh, uh, a lot of spam messages uh, are hidden by uh, 
two or three rules, and uh, uh, there's one rule that it's all the messages. It's, it could be uh, possible to uh, remove this rule and uh, um, say uh, push uh, up the score to one other rule, so you have the same re re results, but it would perform better because it has less uh, rules to to perform it and to check. So, in free, uh, latest release is free for two in September, and the previous one was three years and and half. And the the big uh, time was due to some problems we encountered in development. In particular, uh, there were some problems with the Apache VM, so the sysadmin team had to uh, recreate from scratch uh, some infrastructure and uh, uh, the server part of the mass check would be, uh, was, was not very well documented, so it will be um, recreated from scratch. Uh, the main problem is that uh, from, from when the mass check tool check uh, sends the reports to the server, and the server, uh, in sense to the public, to new rules, it passes a couple of days. So, uh, if you if you are in a trial and error phase in development, it's it's a long time to wait uh, such a couple of days to uh, to know the results of uh, of your code, and. There were some security info, security fixes uh, uh, for PDF info plugin uh, and for uh, uh, in the core, and a uh, general security auditing uh, has been done and it's ongoing as well. And uh, a notable pair bug we we find we found uh, so. Uh, we, in, during the development of 342, we uh, optimized the startup code. And uh, uh, during the regression test, we uh, check out that the parser uh, skipped some URL in the emails only on Red Hat systems. And this was, uh, at the very end, uh, the cause was that uh, Red Hat uh, compiles pair with uh, uh, the Fortify source free option uh, uh, by GCC, and this uh, maybe it does a bug in pair itself, and uh, uh, get evaluated in a different way um, um, in optimization, a part of the optimization code that um, uh, in the optimization of the hash it, it removes some random data, so. Uh, which we we changed the code and we're we're working with Red Hat to find the the original reason in the power code of, of this bug. There were some assorted improvements. Uh, first of all, uh, faster startup code with some optimization. Finally, we took uh, some a look at the spam C and um, optimize. Um, the code, uh, security, uh, so remove the SSL with V3 and other uh, stuff. Uh, there were some free mail anti-forge improvements. So uh, there are some, some code that checks if, uh, for example, you are, you are sending an email uh, as a Gmail user, but you're not using Gmail. Uh, so it, it's trying out to, to check uh, this kind of uh, abuse. Um, you can check uh, if email, uh, in previous version, you, you can check if email is coming from a, a particular uh, nation, so from France or whatever. And now you can check with continent as well. So you, you, it's easier if you can block or uh, score a particular continent uh, without setting a lot of rules for each nation. Uh, some improvements in the URI local BL plugin that detects if a new URL in the mail is coming from a particular uh, source and some very bad 
uh, file descriptor leaks in the TX rep plugin, which is the a plugin that uh, recognizes and stores where uh, from where an email uh, an email is coming. So the IP address, the uh, the score of the email, the DKIM signature. So if this Im this email a uh, similar email comes from the same IP address with the same DKIM signature, it's probably um, not a spam because it's cor a cor correspondence, so it can detect uh, it and uh, uh, lower the uh, the global score. And regression tests uh, switch it, change it completely to be more performant and to be able to uh, to add better tests. Uh, uh, some additions uh, that has been done in 342 and that will be uh, even better in uh, Spam Assassin 4, uh, we consider that uh, uh, we, we will release 343, you know, I think, in the next weeks, and maybe Spam Assassin 4 this year, I hope, is the HBL plugin. Yes, it's a plugin which is present in Earthbound as well, and uh, it's it's a it's a particular DNS blacklist because it doesn't uh, it's not going to be blacklist for IP addresses. It's, uh, it's a, a blacklist of hashes. Because uh, say, if, for example, if uh, um, a message is trying to uh, a spam message is coming from a, a Google server or a Microsoft server. You cannot uh, block all Google or Microsoft net block. So uh, this you can block this hash, and this hash is uh, stored as um, in this particular email address. Uh, with this technique, uh, and um, in Spam Assassin 4, we 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 develop a, a new plugin. Uh, well, the DS in Spam Assassin 4 does a, a modified version of HBL, or if you want to use this feature in Spam Assassin 3.4, there's an additional plugin. Uh, we develop a DNS blacklist uh, for Bitcoin addresses. So you can query the DNS uh, to the Bitcoin, uh, the hash of the Bitcoin address.blbtc.at, and it replies if uh, it has been. Uh, used for fraudulent purposes or not. So you, you, the plugin scans the email for Bitcoin addresses and check the, the DNS. And uh, so um, you can very easily detect uh, uh, Bitcoin scam emails. Then there was another thing the developer was GIP2 uh, support because MaxMind uh, has the bigger player in geolocalization and they decided that from starting from latest April they would not uh, have more support for the legacy GOP dat database but also uh, they push in for the new version. The problem is that the new version uh, with Perl are, um, are very slow or in R X X eighty six sixty four only. So uh, we developed the the plugin uh, for MaxMind, and we developed on the same plugin we had that support also for EP counter ADB file as an additional option. It's a, a different approach. It doesn't use MaxMind databases, but it's a database created uh, downloading. Uh, the uh, txt files directly from RIPE, uh, Afrinic, uh, Arin, etc. And uh, it's, it's very fast. It, it doesn't need all the longer dependencies MaxMind uh, uh, have. Uh, it's not complete as the MaxMind one, because MaxMind one has the, at least uh, uh, the com as commercial support uh, and uh, it has database for uh, ISP, uh, for example, or CD names, or a lot of other interesting things. Uh, there's a new anti phishing plugin based on the fish tank or open fish projects. Uh, in 342, is the, it appear, it's 
it's been development for 3.4.2, and in 3.4.3, it has been changed to be very, very uh, uh, more fast, and uh, more database will be added soon. So it's it's a way to uh, try to detect uh, uh, more tentative of phishing uh, in emails. Uh, one other issue interesting is uh, resource limits, and uh, it tries to uh, uh, limit the resources consumption of the the server. This is uh, one interesting thing. Uh, the main problem is that uh, the mass check is based on the people that are using this software. So rules are pub public rules are determined on the span of the people using mass check, and uh, the vast majority of people using mass check are from US. And the uh, rules, the developers write rules. Uh, for uh, English spam. So uh, there are some additional channels. There are some from Italy, France, Germany, Greece, I think, uh, that are trying to write rules specific for um, non-English language. So it's very, very uh, effic efficient to detect uh, um, if spam if your main language is not uh, English. Uh, this is a uh, new um, plugin in Spam Assassin 4. It detects if uh, there's an attachment with a macro uh, in Word or Excel, and it detects if, it's, uh, uh, if it's this macro is trying to uh, do something should, it's, it's not aimed to do. So Spam, uh, Spam Assassin 4 uh, will have a full UTF-8 support, so there's no more a conversion between the email and the UTF-8, but it's full UTF-8. It will, it'll be, it will have GeoDB uh, support uh, even better than what we have in 3 at the moment, and uh, better TX wrap handling. Uh, some fixes for Postgres are being committed these days, and it will be available in free for free. Uh, some more will be available only in four. If you have any question, So we happen to receive a lot of French spam and also Ukrainian spam for some reason. And I've actually I've developed like a huge list of, of custom rules. Should I then uh, actually submit them somewhere or what should I do to them? Because I use them for myself, but I presume other people are also getting this spam. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a similar problem with, uh, with the Italian spam. I. I put my rules on a web server. There's a, a procedure to, uh, at the moment, the, it means you, you write your rules, uh, you sign it with a, a PGP key, then uh, you put it on a web server, and you, you just, and uh, on the DNS, you have a, a particular TXT uh, record. So uh, when the, the client tries to do downloads, it's, it just credits the DNS and checks if uh, there's a new rule to download or not. So it will be, I think it, there is an official French channel, so you can interact with them to merge the efforts. That could be a Any other question? Yeah. Um, in a case where there are, there are a lot of different uh, people behind uh, Spanish design infrastructure, do you have any advice for 
to, to make it work because uh, spam is, uh, like you said, uh, different for everybody. Should there be different instances uh, of a spam assassin running in parallel with different kind uh, of rules? Uh, I, 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 have, I had in the past some of this, those problems because I, uh, um, I had a customer that had a lot of traffic with, with commercial traffic with China and then there was the opposite other people that were getting um, only spam with China. And the solution uh, was that one solution would be two instances, but uh, the better one will be uh, a user preferences dedicated to that, different user preferences dedicated to that, uh, cast, um, to that customer, to this particular. And uh, you can use uh, also um, the base uh, database per user. So you can, every user can have his uh, uh, Bayesian da, 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 da database you can train uh, for every user and so it's, it can detect uh, this difference. Any, any other question? No. So thank you.